Porsche is in the backyard now. So now I can take from bumper some other stuff apart and fix whatever needs to be fixed. Since there is just more privacy in the backyard. So far I replaced lower control arm. I will have to replace tie rod end and that links whatever it's called over there. Obviously radiator assembly, fan, all that stuff. I'll take this stuff apart and put a replacement. But first thing I'll do is I'll take the front bumper off. That'll give me access to radiator and all that stuff. Other small fix I'll need to do is inside door handle is not working and the rear window motor or something's not working so I'll have to take door panel apart but I'll do that later. My priority right now is the passenger side view and radiator. So I guess surprisingly or not, radiator uh, from bumpers actually was disconnected or broken, I don't know, but it came apart just like this, we didn't even have to do anything. Maybe, yeah, looks like just some lower screws holding it, but that's it, everything else is apart, so I don't have to disassemble it, I guess. Next part of the repair is try to take radiator stuff apart, figure out what belongs where. Connect this. I think it's a fan connector. From what I see so far, there is one bolt over there. It's actually all I see so far, so I'll try to take that nut off. First, off to reach the other bolts, so I'll start from bottom. At least two bolts here. With those two bolts off. Seem like it's only one bolt right there, it's only one that's left. Tough to get to it, but these extensions should be fine. Okay, this stuff is pretty much off, except a couple AC lines. Looks like this not much damage here. Still trying to figure out if bottom is damaged or not, but overall not bad. I also recommend putting nuts and bolts back in a place so that you don't lose them. Now I have to take those off. You have to release the pressure, but in mind, since it's wrecked, obviously there's holes. You don't have to, but if you have a one with still free on it, you have to make sure you release pressure. Alright, so first thing I'll do is I'll take this cover whatever off seizing T25X the one off here, one here, and it'll be a bleed one or two more You'll see, so this one right here. Okay, I found it, it's right here. found one more right here
now it just comes off my advice anytime you're working on this area always take this off and clean because there are a bunch of dirt I will actually take it all apart still not sure if I need to or not but just because I want to clean all this stuff I'll I'll take uh, condenser and radiator apart to take condenser off from this assembly will be two 8 millimeter bolts right here As a side, looks like I'm just gonna push off with a screwdriver, or if you can, just with a finger. There you go. Yeah, look how much stuff there is. Definitely clean it if you'll be working with one. I'll also take this bolt off. I'll pretty much disassemble. This part, I'll try to take this part off. Take this one and this one off. Pretty much with a screwdriver, pull like this and slide this this way. Leave it like this. Don't lose any of the parts. All right, kind of same thing with this lower one. Like I say, be careful not to lose any parts. Now, we slide radiator assembly inward. There we go. And almost coming out. There we go. Okay, one thing is this this piece, make sure you take it off the brackets. AC whatever bracket, regular AC bracket. We'll try to install that first. Once we install that, then we'll put on the radiator with fan at least we'll try to do that and after that we'll put in the AC condenser okay so this bracket has three places for two bolts and one nut so nut goes right there so far I didn't secure it I just kind of put it on here if you can see Bottom two, one's right here. 
wasn't right here. Like I said before, this car was involved in an accident, so it looks like this one and this one are still straight. This one maybe not. I'll double check. If it's not, I'll try to figure something out here. The damage wasn't bad, so even if it bent here a little bit, it's not gonna affect anything really because it's not frame or anything important. I'll hand tight this nut right here. Next I'll do this one. Okay, right here. It looks like I'll be able to put all three in, but one thing I'll have to be careful about is this side should not, if I put this one in, if it goes too far, I'm not going to be able to put bumper in correct order, so I'll always, while I'm assembling everything, I'll always look to make sure this one doesn't mess anything. If it does, I'll have to remove this bolt and figure out what to do. Alright, so here is the assembly, I mean uh, bracket, we'll see how, how it's gonna go, as a matter of fact, I think what I'll do is I'll take this one off, just to make sure, I don't want it to mess anything up, so I just temporarily take this one off, and base everything on those two, as it looks like this one wasn't damaged, and this side wasn't damaged. I'm sure it's gonna work with this extension. Same thing here. Awesome. Like I say, I'm leaving this just like that for now. Later we'll see if I need to adjust it or what to do. It'll be one of the it'll be like one of the last steps actually. Okay, I'll try to take this stuff off. So that's removed and I'll put this one on just like this. That way I'll be able to tighten it from here. I think there'll be a little bit of space. Well, I can't fit the whole assembly, so I'll try to take fan apart from radiator and I'll try to put it that way. So just like the other one, the same thing over here.
Новый? So now I put this here, you'll see. Does it seem to go the other way, so I'll try to take bracket off and put it with the radiator in at the same time. So to put radiator assembly with a fan you have to do it with a bracket all together. At least that's how it worked for me. I did it on two, one bolt here and a nut on this side. It's actually a lot better without the wheel. Here 13 inch, I mean 13 millimeter. This one and something so that it's not gonna roll around when you're driving. Connect this right there. Might not be easy. Might not be easy. Wasn't bad at all. I I will use vice grips for this. It seems easier with vice grips. Right here. Might be easier to first do that holes over there and then secure right here. No better access, but that's what I did. Got one over there and I'll use Phillips screwdriver's extension or then it this way. Not sure if it's the best way, but that's what I did. So pretty much put my hand from other side, kind of help it move. Okay, now we have to loosen those two. Make sure you hold with wire grips this part, because you don't want this scrap to fall off and break. Yeah, you can't can be too careful about the refrigerant lines. Yeah. Okay, we'll see if it's gonna fit. Okay. Hopefully it's gonna work. 
as you can see here there is some restriction to the pipe but we believe not enough to restrict the flow refrigerant too much so I will hope for the best and we'll do the best that's why we're here yeah it's always good to have more tools Like I said before, make sure when you do this, make sure you secure this block with the vice grips. You don't want any of it to bend. You do it bend a little bit, but hopefully it'll be okay. So replacing here is done. This looks like a little bit bent. Just to make sure it's all gonna fit. Hopefully it's not gonna be an issue. If it will be, then You'll see, maybe then I'll have to replace this bar right here, but I think it'll be fine. Next step is to put in a Freon, and we'll do that a bit later today. And of course, other part we'll need to do is coolant. Coolant is also all set, all close connected, so we'll do coolant and Freon later today. Now we're gonna put Freon in a C system on a car. It's a vacuum pump. Is that to take air out of the AC system? Yeah, air and moisture. So we're gonna plug it into the high one, which is at the bottom, and a smaller one to, to vacuum, take air and moisture out of the lines. So now we have atmospheric pressure on the line.
It's always gonna be, gonna be atmospheric if you forget the plot. It's a good time to add coolant because we'll have to turn on the car. So far, I did one and it's already full. Okay, so now I'm gonna start the car. another one can, we're gonna use another one now. Still everything cool here, no leaks, no bit colder but maybe it should be even colder than that so here is one thing I wanna show you this stays right there you are use tool something like this to take this out and under this cover there is like an air release whatever it's called make sure you do it when you add coolant after I push it on, after I pulled it, a lot of coolant went inside. Try to put more coolant now.
say after doing this trick I was able to add almost another full full gallon. Try again. Okay now it's not disappearing anymore. So that's that's good for now. What I'll do now is I'll put this cover back. This will stay here, yep. Okay, I'll put those covers back. 